you want to have a successful fantasy football season, you have to draft the right running backs. Here to help us do that, SI fantasy analyst Michael Fabiano. And Fab's running backs, they're, they're so hard to come by because there's there's not a lot, right? There is a limited quantity. It's, it's, it's an appreciating asset when it comes to running backs. So let's focus on maybe two under-the-radar running backs that can maybe finish as RB2s this year. I want to talk about Miles Gaskin with the Miami Dolphins. Gaskin last year actually finished 13th in fantasy points among running backs in points per game average at 16.4. That's pretty good. He averaged over 18 touches in his 10 games. That's pretty good. The Dolphins didn't draft a running back who's going to make an impact. Uh, Jared Dokes is not going to come in and maybe even make the roster. And Matt Bree is no longer in the mix. They did bring in Malcolm Brown, but I think Gaskin's going to be the starter. And if we saw anything from last year, it's that when Gaskin was given an opportunity to be a featured back, he was pretty darn good. So I've got him on a low-end RB2 range. He's probably going to end up being a fifth-round pick. But he's a player that you'll be able to draft as a flex in some leagues. And he could bear fruit because the Dolphins' offense looks like it's going to be better with the weapons they added. And as I mentioned, Gaskin wasn't half bad when he was a featured back last season. Uh, Someone else that was a featured back last season due to injury was Mike Davis with the Carolina Panthers. He stayed in the NFC South. He's now with the Atlanta Falcons. So what do you make of Davis taking over that Falcons backfield? They have a lot of unanswered carries or or, um, um, carries that were left over from last year. Todd Gurley not back with the team. So there's, there's a big opportunity for Davis in Atlanta. It's huge. And this was a shock to me, Bill, that they didn't draft a running back, right? I right. mean, they signed JV and Hawkins as an undrafted free agent, but they didn't draft anybody. So their depth chart right now behind Mike Davis is Quadri Allison and Tony James Brooks. And Davis is coming off a year where he was the RB12. And keep in mind, he didn't play basically in three games because Christian McCaffrey was active, but Davis was pretty effective, both as a runner and a pass catcher. He's not a young running back. He's 28 years old. But as you mentioned, Todd Gurley did not re-sign with the team. So Davis looks like the favorite to be the starting running back in what could be a pretty explosive offense in Atlanta with the addition of Kyle Pitts. So Davis right now, probably a fifth-round pick as an RB2. You might be able to get him as a flex, much like Miles Gaskin. But these two players, Bill, Gaskin and Davis, could end up being pretty productive at a decent price because from what I've seen from early best ball drafts, running backs are going to be coming off the board even faster than ever. Yeah, you, two two backs, so you said it. Good good production, good value. Uh, given their current ADP, you're not going to have to break the bank to go out and get these guys, and I think that's going to be really important this year. Uh, Fabs, you, you got plenty more running back rankings. You can check it all out uh, on from Sports Illustrated. Go to si.com slash fantasy.